Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Deb. I am the owner and creator of Port City Slime and this YouTube channel. And today I am bringing you where to find low profile containers for slime part two. If you haven't already seen the first video, I highly recommend that you go watch that one first. However, a lot of people probably aren't going to do that because this one has the information that I think most people are looking for. And yes, right now I am playing with slime, so please excuse me if I'm like pulling something or you hear popping sounds in the background. That's what I'm doing. Before we get too far into this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like it. Subscribe to the channel, go find me on Instagram so we can be friends. I just hit 1K over there and it's absolutely amazing. I am also doing this summer Two Saturdays a month, I might do it three just because I'm feeling a little bit generous in June. I am doing free slime Saturdays. So all you have to do is follow the rules on the post and you can get a free slime. The last person who won it got Rite Aid ice cream and I haven't decided which slime I'm going to do next, but you definitely wanna be following me and make sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss that because those short flash giveaways I put it up Saturday and then it ends Sunday night. So make sure you are following me. Before I get into the video again, sorry, we're also going to do a short little review of a doggo slime. Shiri, <laughs> she won the Buy For My Followers giveaway and I am just getting around to recording these. So yeah, I'm not going to talk during the review. The slimes speak for themselves. They're pretty good. Um, six ounces were $12 free shipping and the two ounce that I bought was $8 in free shipping. So it's a little bit pricey, but you do get free shipping. And if you, you know, if um, shipping is a concern when you're looking into slimes, I definitely recommend this shop. The only thing I will mention with, was that the slimes weren't actually filled all the way to the top. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's like, this one's kind of fluffed up now because I did record them, but they were a little bit underneath the line. So, I did talk to them beforehand, or once I received the slimes, just to let them know. And other than that, enjoy the video. So I got my handy dandy slime no notebook. Thank you to all the slimers that have sent stickers with your orders and or trades. It's truly awesome and I like decorating my folder. Um, I'm going to be reading a little bit from here just because it's hard to remember everything I want to say. So for the low profile container part two, it's not just low profile containers. I'm going to be sharing some information with you um, from other... <laughs> from other container companies, wow, that don't just sell low profile containers. And the first one is, dun dun dun, Midwest Bottles. 
I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The information is already out there. I think some people are just lazy and don't really wanna look for it. However, so back in October, I got these containers and I mentioned this in the other video. And then I was using them for reviews and I was testing them out to see whether or not I wanted to use them in my shop. And then it blew up, everyone wanted to buy them and they sold out. Midwest Bottles had about a supply of like 500 during this time. And so they were sold out until January. That is why I did not divulge the information at first because there was no containers to begin with. So sending you there would do nothing for you. Um, these containers are really good. I have my old logo sticker that I made on it. They hold 6.67 ounces, but you can fit up to eight. So that's why most people use them. They fit eight ounces of slime perfectly. They are sturdy. Um, they're transparent. Or they're more opaque, I guess I should say. They're opaque, not exactly 100% clear. But they have all kinds of containers, not just low profile ones as well. And I think it runs about 84 cents per container, so it's really good price and you can get as few as you want. You can buy one container or you can buy like 200. I think now they have about 8,000 plus in stock, so they don't really sell out anymore. So if you're looking for a really good option like that, I know there's some slimers that I myself included, I think Slime Universe did as well, like put up some of their supply. So you should also check Etsy because sometimes slimers have so much of an inventory and they're not making that much slime to begin with. So they'll list them. I myself have some containers listed and that is the second thing I am going to get into. So I actually got my containers from Thornton Plastics. That would be this container. They have all kinds of sizes, but I have the eight ounce. This is actually a little bit more clear than the one from Midwest Bottles. As you can see, you can kind of see my face through them and this one you cannot as much. Um, I really like them. They're eight ounces. They're a little bit taller. They're the 70 to 40 millimeter ones. I have to also remember that a lot of in other industries besides slime are using plastic containers so that's why they are also probably sold out a lot is because other industries like the beauty industry whether it be lotions or butters are using these containers as well but the last one I really want to mention the last one that is all over the internet you should already know this company because a lot of people recommend it is Parkway Jars and the reason why I'm introducing Parkway Jars now, even though I didn't the last time, is because they actually have something new. They have introduced a jar and lid combo. So I think they call it their combo packs, actually, where you can get the same amount of bottles and lids for a very convenient price. It is still a little bit pricey, I think in the $200-ish range. But I, before, I think what killed most people was the shipping and the fact that the lid to jar ratio was different. So you would end up, I think it was that you would end up getting more lids than you would jars. So now they have the combo packs for smaller slimers and it is awesome. I will link every single one of these in the description box below. Um, and I hope it helped because I know it can be frustrating when you look for something over and over again and you just want a little bit of information to link you to the next product. I know a lot of people think that it's taboo that you give out information like where do you get your supplies or where do you get your containers but there's so many other art forms and communities that are willing to help each other out and I feel like slime is one of those weird ones like take photography for example there's a lot of photographer youtubers that I watch that will list all their lens kits like their lights their tripods whatever they use presets what have you they will list it below they will tell you where to find them they will help you out and i feel like slime is a little bit different because it is a saturated industry but also is very creative and no one wants to be copied no one wants to have their product replicated no one wants to be screwed over by a bigger account or no one wants to buy something from a smaller account that has been taken by a bigger account or i mean that has been made already by a bigger account. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to divulge too, in too much information, but I will say this again. The reason why I didn't fully give out Midwest bottles to begin with is because it was already found on Aaron Slime's shop. 
I think that's what I missed before. Erin's Slime Shop had a supply, a supply page before she turned it into her own supply page and it was called Guide of Slime. She has recently changed it, but all of those posts are still there to begin with. So if you want to find out more information on other things, go check her Erin's Slime Supplies page first. And then Midwest Bottles, I just didn't want to send you the wrong way when there was no supplies to begin. <coughs> no supplies to be to begin with. Um, there are plenty of other jar companies out there for slime, so I highly recommend that you just do your research. What I like to do is Google and then go to pictures, and then from pictures, I will click the website. And so if you know what you're looking for, whether it be like size or clarified versus transparent or whatever, you can find it easier just by looking at images. And yeah, go watch my last video because I can't, I know one, I directed you towards uh, Alibaba or AliExpress. And then there was another company. You just have to be able to buy in bulk. So if you need help, ask your parents. If you're an adult, just be better. You can do it if I can do it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate every single like, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscriber that I get. We're making this channel grow and it's amazing. We have, I think, 141 subscribers now, and you know, when you first start YouTube, like, that's a huge stretch. You're like, how am I gonna get my first 100 subscribers? And we're finally here, so thank you very much. I will shout out someone. I have to look like two weeks back for my previous videos, but it will be listed here. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.